Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, Internet? It is PB Solidus 2. Just bring you guys short, quick video. Um, try to go over everything really quick on this PvP build. Uh, well, this is going to be my new tried and true PvP build. We got the incursion coming out next Tuesday on the 12th. We have patch notes. One point, forgot what it number it was. Uh, make sure you guys check that out. That's going to be another video. Uh, whenever Truce and I, I guess we'll just wait. I think we'll talk about the patch notes after the incursion release and just see what's changed in general. I know a lot of people have already got dosed with that. So let's just get right into it. Let's talk about the inventory gear and everything that we got so far. First thing first, uh, what I like to mention is armor, 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 and then, then worry about everything else. So a lot of people... I've been seeing videos where, or streams, where people think other players are hacking, and it's because they're not doing a lot of damage. A lot of, a, a huge part of that that people are forgetting now is that armor mitigation is God. Like, that is the key. 65 is your magic number. You can achieve that by hitting 4640 on the armor rating. However you get that, whenever you get that, that is the max. Right now, before... April 12th. That is the max. Once you hit that 65, build around that 65. What do I mean by build around the 65%? My gloves here, I can get skill power back or I can get more health. For PvP, I prefer more health. So as you can see, I went from 300 75 to 373 on um, armor. So let's go back over here. Let's check our armor. I'm still at 65. I'm still at 4,643, and now I have 84,000 health. So I'm staying around the 65, and I'm building around that. So I know now that if I need to get new gloves, I'm going to need something with 370 at the lowest for armor. That being said, build that and work around it um if I wanted some more firepower like as you guys saw I can just switch this over and now I mean I'm at 70 almost 70,000 health or 69,000 health maybe with a mod or two I could switch that up uh I think there's some in here yeah I could I can easily turn a fire firearms mod into a stamina mod so just keep that in mind and things like that. So this is this is my build going into it. Uh, one big thing I want to talk about is in the chest piece. Reckless increases damage uh, increases damage by 12.5 and increases incoming damage by 10. That may sound bad. Right now, this stat is slightly bugged. You you get 10% in incoming damage, but it's not incoming damage. It's actually called. Let's go down to our defense. All damage resilience right here. This is perfect so all damage resilience is like it says additional damage mitigation against all damage except environmental so player damage npc damage uh self damage like if you do a grenade yourself things like that except environmental so bleeds burns uh shocks things like that you still get damaged by that being said awesome stat to have right now all damage resilience is very very important only thing that has it right only armor that has it right now is the chest piece all right so that is how you survive onslaught of people i will try to add the video to this to show all of that mitigation and what it really comes down to but that's a key thing moving on to weapons i'm going to dark zone with i'm still trying to get a better role on my vector I need deadly and brutal with I'll take swift at the bottom I'll take skilled at the bottom but I I need deadly and brutal um, so far I got deadly on this one with pretty good DPS uh, mediocre sub uh, critical hit chance but that being said we have that up to 160 uh, secondly we'll be rocking the classic M1A I got this with predatory and balance I'm only really using it for balance uh, running in the dark zone, especially when we're going against rogues, we're seeing a lot of um, vector users. So we're going to try to cancel those guys out by using um, sniper rifles. We're going to we're going to try to keep the distance. Uh, normally, Truce is running a vector AK. I might be running a vector AK depending on what's happening. But 
uh, most most tried and true is the sniper rifle from a distance, and definitely I do about. I know we went against another group that was pretty stacked in armor. I think my highest crit on that person was like thirteen thousand, and that's a huge chunk in um, a high mitigated player. So that being said, those are the weapons I'm going in with the pistol. I should change this to something that can either draw fire or blood, um, preferably like you know like Damascus or anything like that. But right now it's just basic destructive and expert. Just something to shoot people with. This is my new bay right here. This uh, double barrel shotgun, but that's for PVE. Has ferocious and fierce thing is. We'll talk about that in another video. That, <laughs> but going into it, um, next we have the mask that I'm using, which is going to be the operator mask. It has tenac tenacious. Uh, tenacious, as you guys can see, increases the damage by 9.5 for 10 seconds when using a med kit. Uh, a lot of videos you guys see if I'm going against another player. Um, I will pop my heal and pop a medkit at the same time. Ho uh, hopefully, I, the medkit hits my body before the the heal does, so I get the overshield. Um, you know, just semantics. But whichever one does happen, if I can get the medkit used, I get that damage buff to fight. Also, we have the pulse critical hit damage bonus in here. So anytime Truce pops a pulse, I can follow up and keep damage uh, consistently. Moving down to the knee pads, uh, these are tactical pads. They have um, item find and credit find bonuses are increased. That is for uh, Phoenix credits and drops. I, I I don't know what Perceptive actually does. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. So it is what it is. But it also has scavenging, so they're really good for dark zone and for farming. Um, also, it came with armor, hence why the armor is up to 858 on the knee pads. Critical hit damage, always important if you're running SMGs and sniper rifles. Uh, enemy armor damage, I'm loving these for the AI that's in the dark zone. Really, really good. Really, really fun. Moving over to the backpack, we have Relentless, 3% of damage dealt by skills returned as healing. So, as you guys know, I run a lot of shield wall, I mean, I'm sorry, smart cover. And when I hit smart cover, I get a lot of crits. Um, high crits, 3% damage off of 110 a uh, thousand hit off of an SMG is a lot of healing back to you even if it is three percent it's a very good consistent healing and it jump starts the healing recovery so you your bar will start automatically filling because healing is already started all right moving down to gloves gloves have to have savage that is the most important thing critical hit chances increased by 30 percent against targets out of cover I don't know how many rogues you guys are fighting um, I don't know how many AIs are fighting in the dark zone, but a lot of things are not in cover. That's why I run Savage. And then lastly, we have uh, the holster, which has health regenerate twice as, uh, regenerates, kicks in twice as fast while in cover. Like I said, I roll with smart cover. I'm the smart cover guy. You guys know that wall, as soon as that wall pops in, I'm always hitting it first. I always slap on it, like if I'm playing Gears or something. I do like a wall bounce to wall cancel just to get the buff and to put damage out. So, while in cover, as long as I hit that wall, my health will regenerate twice as fast if I didn't hit the wall. So, things to keep in mind when you're fighting. So, that is the run of the muck of my build for the Dark Zone. If you guys have any questions, concerns, anything, hit me up at twitch.tv solidus2. Leave a like, comment, or dislike. And if you dislike, explain why you dislike. Just let me know. Talk to me. Hit me with those comments. Um, really want to know what you guys are running. What's your primaries? What's your secondaries? What are you finding fun to do in the dark zone? Uh, do you even like the dark zone? Things of that nature. Let's just get that talking. Are you guys excited for April 12th with the incursion coming out? Are you guys ready for the incursion? Like I said, right down there in the bottom, make sure you guys hit hit the uh, comment section let us know that being said thank you all for watching make sure you guys are following me at twitch.tv solidus2 make sure you guys are following the mainstream at twitch.tv pb recreations make sure you guys are following us all on our social medias our uh, facebook's our twitters and our instagrams thank you guys for all the love and support get some more of these videos out have a great day night afternoon wherever you beautiful people are when you're watching this solidus2 and i'm out Laters.